girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week three of season one, 2022, in the D-Class Fix Ferrari Challenge with me driving the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo 2020. This week's circuit is Watkins Glen, the new updated version of the boot layout. And the date and time is set to the 1st of April 2022 at half one in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out on the season one PDF. All circuit guides use sprint setups in the same format as before, a breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an offboard lap. And as usual, this is filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. But let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this quite tricky but fast flowing circuit. Here we go then on the left hand side, ready for the 90 degree right hander of turn one. And our braking zone is just at the 200 meter board. We're going to be hard on the brakes from fifth down into second gear. Braking in a straight line down into second, start trail braking in, carry the speed through that apex, and then straight up into third using all the curb on the exit. As long as you keep your right wheels on the red and yellow stuff you won't get a 1x. It's flat out all the way through here, holding it tight to the right-hand side curb as you go up the hill, then holding it tight to the left-hand side curb, then back over to the right, a nice flowing section, still in fifth gear all the way through this bit, and then slowly drift back over to the left-hand side. There's no rush as the straight is nice and long. We've got a fast chicane coming up though, braking zone, the 300 meter board. Now watch closely the inputs here. We're gonna slightly brake from fifth down into fourth as we start turning in and into third, bouncing over this curb where it gets a little unsettled, coasting through this first day Apex. And then once you've passed that, accelerating all the way through the second one using all of the curbs in third gear. We don't change up to fourth because we're going to just lift off for this long right-hander, holding it tight right-hand side all the way along the curb before accelerating through the midpoint all the way out to the edge of the track. This braking zone's a little bit tricky. The only thing I could spot with this little dark patch of grass, which I guess we're using just before that little concrete patch from fourth down into second gear. Again, holding it tight to left-hand side curve and accelerating before the midpoint there as you, you can accelerate a little bit earlier than you expect on the exit of that corner. This next braking zone between the 200 and the 100 meter board, the braking zone goes slightly uphill. It's going to be hard on the brakes from fourth down to second gear. Missing the first part of the corner completely to get a nice late apex, nice smooth power application as you climb up this hill as the car can get a little loose on the exit there. So be careful of that. Climbing up back through the gears. Now watch closely the Zippo markers on the left. Again, it's the 200 meter board, but you can't see the numbers. So the second marker board, hard on the brakes from fourth down into second gear again, braking in a straight line, start turning in and accelerate from the midpoint. Now here you can actually use all the track on the exit, you won't get a 1x there just in case you need to. This braking zone is another tricky one as we go uphill, it's just that big bushy tree but as we pass it, so not yet, as we pass it, hard on the brakes, down to second gear, coast through and again late apex this corner, the car gets a little bit unsettled because of the way the camber is and there's a nice little bit of extra track we can use now. Just lift off in fourth gear for this second to last left hander, here we go, all the track on the exit, keeping two wheels on the curve, the final braking zone, this tyre wall blends into the Armco barrier but keep an eye out for it. Just just as that tyre wall ends, dab the brakes down into third gear, coast in and accelerate from the apex point using all the track on the exit, get as close as you can to that wall, but do not touch it because of course you will lose a lot of time. And that is a lap of Watkins Glen on 145.1. So now full speed uninterrupted, looking for the 200 meter board on the left, hard on the brakes, down into second gear, get it turned in, start accelerating before the apex because the track cambers nicely and pulls you round. It's now flat out and you can have a nice little break, don't use all the runoff at turn one anymore. You do get a 1x if you use more than that red and yellow curb. It's flat out all the way through here. We went right, left, and then back right again. And then we're going to slowly drift over to the left on this main straight. In fifth gear, we don't quite reach thick. We're looking for the 300 meter board on the left hand side now. And then we're going to break fifth down to third and then start accelerating after this first apex all the way through these second two apexes here. We're then going to lift off, get it turned in, look for that traffic light on the inside and then start accelerating through all the way this right hander using a little bit of curb on the exit. Back over to the right hand side, dark patch of grass, fourth down to second gear, get it turned in, start accelerating at the midpoint, carrying the speed through up into third gear on the exit to keep that rear end in check. Now in between the 200 and the 100 meter board, hard on the brakes down to second, miss the first part of the corner completely and get a nice smooth application on the power, a nice late apex, you could say we missed it a little bit there, there might be a bit more time to find. Up the hill now we go, looking for the second Zippo marker on the left, so not that first one, hard on the brakes, fourth down to second gear, get it turned in again and start accelerating from the midpoint. You can turn in early there because you've got all this extra runoff at the exit. Bushy tree on the right, hard on the brakes, down to second gear, coast through, smooth on the power, gets a little bit bumpy through there, uh, and then up into third on the exit. Now, fourth gear, just a lift, not a full lift, a half lift, and back on that power using all the track. Tire wall on the left, dab the brakes down to third, get it turned in and start accelerating before the midpoint because the track again is cambered nicely and should pull you around a little bit if you've taken the right line. And that is a lap of Watkins Glen, the boot layout on 145.1. 
As usual, that is pretty much it from me. So I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, share them amongst your Ferrari friends. And of course, the, well, the likes and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's really, really helpful. And I thank you for the support thus far. Thank you for over 4,000 subscribers. Of course, I'm going to keep these Ferrari guides going for this season if I haven't done them already. And on to next season if we just see how things go. Uh, and that is pretty much it for me. So if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.